What's going on guys, so in the gamer here with another episode of Pokemon Shield. In the last episode we made our way from Sir Chester down here to Spikemuth, snuck our way into the city with the help of Marnie, and now we are here to challenge the gym. It doesn't, I remember this place being really small, and not a lot to deal with, um, so let's check all the doors that we can. We can't even go inside of here, that's how closed off it is. Um, and let's see here, can we go inside this door? No. We have Marnie here as well. With the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? Let me get Piers' league card. Okay. Oi, welcome to Spike Move, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're going to take on the gym mission, you better change it to your uniform. And it's literally just a Team Yell guy. If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead from here. I don't know why I'm, he's getting that accent, but he is. Hey, what's going on, Senior David? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the squad. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. All right. Now, the silly thing about the gym challenge here is that we don't really have anything to do except for battle these guys. Gym challenge. You want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. Okay. So, we have a few gym leaders we're going to have to get through. No puzzles or anything. Just straight up battling, which is, you know... My kind of style, anyway. So let's do this. Alright. And, yeah. Let's run Bug Buzz. Alright, yep. This is a thought. Let's keep it moving. And we get 1,000 experience. Not bad. What's the game? You and your Pokemon broke through. We get 3360 Poke Dollars for winning. And we'll probably have to challenge the lady as well. I don't want to let you through, though. That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. <laughs> but since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever. You won, so I guess I'll step aside. Oh, she does too. Okay. So yeah, let's keep it moving. Can't go inside any of these doors. And I'm sure, yeah, we'll have someone in a, in a second here. Do you know the Pokemon Move Light Screen? Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. It makes for a cherry member of the, our team. Yeah, okay. You guys only use... Oh, wow. So we have Mr. Mime here. Some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how, how hard you try. And, uh, yeah, now we're kind of kind of stuck here. What's this? A gym challenger, challenger made it through? All us Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you walk... Oh my god, waltz through. I'm getting all types of tongue-tied. We have Team Yell Grunts. Gotta, gotta slow it down. But we have a Thievul. And now we'll be able to handle them. Bug Buzz once again. Hopefully we'll have enough for Piers. We're gonna eat this Night Slash. And, yeah, make him pay. Good work. All right, we get 1,100 experience. Cinderace hits level 51. Amazing. That's game. I wasn't able to properly greet you. Well, you just threw Pokemon at me and we fought back. We have 3,360 Poke Dollars for winning. Let's keep moving. I want that dark badge. That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Here, go on through. Check out our neon signs while you're neon signs while you're at it. Yeah. One of these days. And it looks like, yeah, Mr. Mime doesn't like being left by himself, so Barry, Barry. And this runs off. Nice. That reminds me of like a classic video game where you beat all the enemies and it goes, go, 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 and you're able to proceed to the next area. Let's throw a super potion on now. And, uh, yeah, let's continue to go. Honestly, um, before we continue, let's... Yeah, we're we're slacking here. We're slacking. Let's give a now. Let's use our last PP up for one on Pyro Ball. Get that up to eight. That's maxed out now. And let's also give a now the silver powder and actually let him take advantage of that, you know, that bug advantage. But let's keep on running. We have a whole bunch of people in the 
The windows? Are we about to battle people on the second floor of the building? I'm yelling for no reason. Ain't that always the case? Those are big guys. A little agile. I see ya. The belly's sticking out, but they can do front flips off of... They can, uh, they can do front flips out of windows. If I stand still like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with the battle. Let's go. <laughs> that took me by surprise. And we have Scrafty. And with our new and improved Bug Buzz. Scrafty, we just don't have the skills against Scrafty. That's fine. Let's hit him with the Thunderbolt just to save our uh, Bug Buzzes. We ate that though. Hopefully we have the power. So close. We got the Paralysis. Nice. Shed skin! Dang. Still got the speed on him, though. How we went first the first time... Uh, how they went first the first time, I don't really understand. But maybe it was like a priority move or something. But we have 12, 31 experience. Grim Snarl hits level 50. And we're rolling. I lost. My leg pain's back. So it's a double shock. Sciatica is no joke. We get 3,360 Poké Dollars for winning. My man's body just, just seasoned up. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. All oh, right. Now that the pain's gone, I guess I'd better get out of here. Goodbye, sir. Oh, and they both run away. Okay. There's always two people, even though they only battle us once. Throw a potion at Anel here. Get them all nice and healthy. We have a max revive. Amazing. If we go inside of any of these doors. Look, could they really be slumming it here in Spike Move? And we have another Mr. Mime. There's some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how hard you try. And we will try to walk back. And the HE of your Pokemon not looking so good. I mean, we're good. Yeah. Since when are these guys so agile? I practiced that back handspring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of those moves. Exactly. Were you surprised? Oi, be surprised, you. Well, you're in utter shock. I'm going to sneakily win this battle. <laughs> you know what? I forgot. I really don't like Team Yell that much. They're one of the worst teams ever in Pokemon. But um, these guys right here, at least the gym battle Team Yell members, they're um, they're funny. They, they're at least entertaining. Okay, and yeah, we're going to bug buzz this Weevil as well. Not before we take an Ice Shard, but we should be able to eat that. There we go. That's what we'd like to see. Alright, and we get 1356 experience. We hit level 49. Huh? Seriously? You gotta be kidding. It's over already. What? I mean, you were watching. We got 3,440 Poké Dollars for winning. And will we have to battle the other? I doubt it. I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer for you from now on. Oh, and we're actually converting some Team Yell members and they're killing it with them handsprings. Now, if the... Okay. If the Mr. Mime also did a back handspring away, I would have fell on the ground laughing, but it did not. That would have been really funny. And yeah, I think we're here. Should we... Just in case. Yeah, let's do it just in case. I think we should be alright either way. Team Yell takes the field. This might be the gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool secret hangout. Alright, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Double battle? Ah, oh, I didn't have time to get my disguise ready. That's right, Team Yell is actually made up of spike move gym trainers. So strange. Alright, so we have Team Yell, Grunt, and Gym Trainer Joshua. Okay. We have a Lifebird and a Drapion. Not in terrible danger here. That Drapion's a little problematic, but I think we can handle that. Ooh, you know what? Just to not go through those problems, let's throw in some pecs here. 
I'm sure there's probably a better option, like Cinderace or something. But I figure whatever they have, we'll be able to eat it a little bit better with some pecs here. They both attack them now, so we're solid. Nice. Alright, and we get 1,153 experience. Some perk only gets 2,000. Wow. No levels. And yeah, let's finish them off. We have a Drapion here. We're just going to do some Thunderbolt. We don't have really anything that can hurt it with these guys. Let's do an Earthquake as well. We have that defense. And Anel's Levitate. I just love doing Earthquake and Double Battles. It's so powerful. Yeah. And that's just normal damage. Just imagine if it was weak. That's what we were using. Goodness. Okay, and we get 1,294 experience. Sumpex gets 2,100 experience. He hits level 51. Lycanroc gets 50. We're getting we're getting up there. I'm telling you, we might, we might finish this today. It would have been better if you just lost to us. Did I lose as a member of Team Yell, or was I beaten as a gym trainer? <laughs> we got 7,568 dollars for wedding. That last line was pretty good. Like, yeah. How do you know? I mean, I guess both. Uh, whatever. Our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? I mean, everybody's already knew the true identity of Team Yell, right? That means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. But we all know you guys were, were uh, you know rooting for Marnie, but we didn't know that you guys were gym members. It's a whole different story. We really need to work on the strength of their gym, because we've been whipping them up and down all of Galar this whole time. With impunity. Like, <laughs> there's no resistance. Now, we have Marnie here. Shut your gob. Oh, Stone. Uh, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spike Move is telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spike Move just keeps getting worse and worse. And all Pierce says is, don't worry. So so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the Yellow Challengers. We thought, if we could stop the Yellow Gym Challengers from, from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that increased the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. Side, that's no way to help someone at all. It really isn't. You gotta let them beat the best. Like no one ever was. Like they always say. Stone, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go and face the gym leader. And Piers is having his show. He's crushing it. Excuse me, guys. Let's see what's up. Yeah, a bunch of Toxel. Crushing it. Yeah. What does that move exactly? Is that a Michael Jackson right there or uh, someone else? They're loving it though. Uh, so you're finally here, huh? See, I'm I'm really not a great gym leader. Figure that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon. But, well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Hey, I mean, if you've if you got the power to be a gym leader, you got the power. That's it. That's all, that's all that matters. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Move. Pierce, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Move, it's time to rock. At least he has some style. Looks like he needs some sleep, though. Let's do it. He starts off a little scrappy. Troublesome. But we can handle it. Everyone, cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it, Scrappy. Intimidate the opponent. So our attack falls down, even though we're a special attacker, so all good. We have a stalemate here, so let's Thunderbolt. He's going to give us a fake out, we're going to flinch, but we're going to run it back. That's okay.
Let's give him something shocking. There we go. And the paralysis. Excellent. Let's finish him off. Good stuff. It's one down. We get 1,329 experience. Petunia hits level 49. We have a Malamar. I actually think we're good with Malamar. I think Malamar is water and dark. I don't remember exactly. That's a toughie. That is. I think he's dark and water. Or... I'm not sure. We're going to stay in, though, because I think we got him. Pretty sure we got him. Malamar's going to mess you up with... Mess you all up with his contrary... Oh, my God. Strangely enough, it's hard reading slang. I don't know why, but it is. Is that a crit? He got a nice shot on us, though. You can get him with some bug buzz. Whatever he was, he was weak to bug. Water and dark? It sounds like the only option, right? We have 1379 experience. What do we have next? We have an Obstagoon. Let's switch out to Cinderace here. I wish we had a better move than Revenge, but it is what it is. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roar of my Obstagoon. And let's uh, turn to fighting type and get that times four revenge off. And we're actually going to be hurt here. Or we're not. Okay, he protected himself. He saved himself for a turn. That's cool. And our defense harshly fell. Will we actually be taken out here? I'm scared. But we got some revenge. Didn't take him out. Level 46, he is pretty high. He's going to counter. This should hurt a lot, actually. Yeah, it's going to kill us. That's nuts. I don't even know how upset to be about that. Like, he kind of set us up perfectly. So, you know, sometimes that happens. Whatever. And, yeah, let's, let's finish this off some play rough. That's rough. It is. He's going to keep trying to mess with us here. If we hit that obstruct, it automatically lowers our defense like crazy. We are faster, though. Let's just finish him off before he can get us. It's too dangerous. Alright, we get 3,000 experience. We hit level 51. And he has Skunk Tank left. We're just going to stay in since, you know, we're, we're a little beaten up here. I do not do Encores, get it? No songs, not moves, not Pokemon. We're hurting. We're hurting. Everyone's going to stink, but who cares? Go, Skunk Tank. Use your Sucker Punch and Toxic. Okay. So, yeah. I'm a little worried. We're going to win, obviously, but it's not pretty. Not pretty. We've had some better wins. Well, it's not going to be as nasty now because he used Toxic of all things. But still. Let's finish this up. He's going to give us a Sucker Punch too. Yeah, not enough. There we go. Aftermath. Rude. Rude. That's our dark badge, guys. Cinderace went down, but we still did it. And we get 1,962 experience. And Pierce is down. Good job, Grinsnarl. <laughs> Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. And we get 7,360 Poke Dollars for winning. And we have seven badges, guys. Seven. One more. And we can join the Pokemon League in uh, the Champion Cup. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way.
Here's your dark badge. Nice. And Team Yo has feel I think they've been soundly defeated here with that. Yep, and they're all crying. You can now put we can now catch Pokemon up to level 55 and we get a new uniform. He was gonna sell them as concerts, that's a good idea. My little sister Marnie's gonna challenge him next, I bet. That was actually kinda sweet. So you were watching, sis? You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That right? That reminds me. Marnie, there's something I want to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here and spike move as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't die and max your Pokemon. I love you, but my big answer is a big fat no. I mean, if anything, that makes him a better trainer. You notice how he's the second best trainer, since they are put in, in terms of strength to weakness. I mean, uh, a weak to strong, so he's the second best trainer. And the only reason he probably loses to Raihan because he doesn't Dynamax. Just imagine if he did. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey Stone, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? Good luck, Marnie. I think you can do it, though. I think you can do it. And you seriously beat Pierce here, a TM to remember this moment. We get Snarl. Nice. It's a good AoE move. It works well in double battles. And we have a sh the ground shaking. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey, you gave Pierce a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over there to help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. We are definitely going to heal first. Really? Really? For real? Is that it? Kaboom! We have Lee. Stone, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whoever is making that noise, I'll see to it. I've already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge that's left is the one you'll get from the dragon gym leader's Raihan, right? Raihan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know? And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. With another kaboom. We go take care of that, man. Get out of here. Go, go, go. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. And yeah, we're going to go back inside. Uh, heal up and call it. And then we'll, we'll go see what's up with uh, all the noise. Alright guys, that's the episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you're watching this on Twitch, hit that follow button and then go over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell and join the squad and you'll get notifications for when we drop videos. Comment down below if there's any Pokemon you'd like me to use or if there's any games you'd like me to play. And share on all social media platforms. In the next episode, we're going to see what is going on on Route 9 and then we'll go over to Hammerlock and take out Raihan. But until then, this is Stone the Gamer signing off. Hope everyone has a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.